Hey, how you doing? It's David Duford here at Buy Life Insurance for Burial.com, where I help people like you find affordable life insurance despite any sort of health issues you may have. So today's video is entitled The Official Guide to Getting Life Insurance with Endometriosis. So what we're going to talk about in uh, specifics today is what your eligibility may be if you have endometriosis. So we're going to talk about different products you qualify for, the application process, and kind of the concerns that insurance companies may have if you attempt to apply for coverage and how to best give yourself the best options uh, or ability to potentially qualify for life insurance. So let's get started. Quick overview, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my company if you haven't seen any of my educational videos before. I'm going to answer the question, can you qualify for life insurance with endometriosis right up front? And then tell you the types of life insurance potentially available to people who have endometriosis, including term whole life and guaranteed acceptance insurance and then tell you how to apply, and then what the next steps are. So my name is David Duford. I am the owner of Buy Life Insurance for Burial.com. I've been licensed as a life insurance agent since 2011 and have helped over 3,000 families with their life insurance needs. I'm also a published author of several books. The one most relevant to you is over in the left-hand corner, and it's called The Official Guide to Buying Final Expense Life Insurance. Also, I'm a life insurance agency owner. I actually help agents do what I'm doing right now, educate them on the different conditions that are out there and what kind of life insurance people can get, and help them help people across the country. I'm also, uh, most important here, married with children, with my fourth child on the way as I record this video. So, wish us luck. So, let's answer the question you're probably wondering right up front. Can you qualify for life insurance if you have endometriosis? And the short answer is yes. Uh, most likely, yes. You can't say always for sure anybody and everybody will qualify. But the long answer just depends. It depends on your age, depends on your health issues you may have as well. And bottom line, uh, it, it's always unique to your particular situation as far as your health goes. We need to determine basically what our best odds are and which carriers will accept you. So let's take a look at some options that you may qualify for. So the type of life insurance that are available the people with endometriosis, there's several. But before we go into what there are as far as options, it's important for you to understand the goal here isn't just to pick one that's a one size fits all. The important thing is to determine what your goals are and what you want to accomplish with your life insurance. I think a lot of agents are short sighted in this and that they just push one product on you without taking consideration to what your personal desires are. So what I mean by that is you got to determine what you want your life insurance to do for you. That's the most important thing before you even determine uh, what kind of plan that you want. you got to figure out, okay, here's what I know about life insurance. What do I want to accomplish? Well, what's the reason you want to get life insurance to begin with? For some of you, it's because you want to cover for final expenses. You want to cover maybe burial or cremation or any sort of permanent lasting expenses you know will occur. You also may want to cover for your your income being gone if you die, or your spouse's income gone uh, if they pass away. And that's a very good reason to have coverage. But there's different products that cover these better than others. And again, you want to know what it is and better define what your goals are. Maybe you want debt repayment. Maybe you have a business loan. Maybe you have other loans. And you don't want to saddle that debt to people you love. You also have to consider what your budget is. You don't want to spend too much for life insurance. I love life insurance. I'm a salesperson after all. <laughs> but I don't want to see my clients drop my plan. You know, uh, the best kind of life insurance is the one that's easily affordable. That's what I say pretty much on every one of these videos. Uh, I want you to be very comfortable with it so you can forget about it. And, uh, but know it's there when it's needed. Uh, you don't want to spend too much on this kind of stuff. You don't want to go on a uh, spending splurge. Save that for the mall. There's really three types of life insurance options available to someone who has endometriosis. So we're going to talk about term life, whole life, and guaranteed issue life insurance coverage shortly. And uh, let's just take a look first at how all of these work. So the first thing we're going to look at is term life insurance for people who have endometriosis. So in case you don't know what term life insurance, really the simple definition of term life insurance is that term life insurance offers coverage on a temporary basis. It's not the kind of coverage that's going to be there permanently under, under any circumstances. It's really designed for a temporary need. Uh, I like to say term life insurance is temporary insurance for a temporary need. So, and we'll get into what those temporary needs are in a moment, but the benefits include you get level premiums that don't go up in most circumstances, and you get the most coverage per dollar of premium. 
uh, that um, you can that you can afford. Uh, other kinds of plans, guaranteed issue or whole life insurance, for the same dollar you put into those plans, you get less coverage. However, there's no such thing as perfect uh, uh, circumstances. You could outlive this coverage. It's temporary. It's term. I like to call it terminating coverage. Look, you know, you may be thinking, well. Um, you know, why would I want to buy something I could outlive? Well, the main reason is, is the amount of coverage you get. Literally, in some circumstances, term insurance will give you five to ten times as much coverage as a permanent plan like whole life insurance. So that's why I say it's temporary coverage. So why would you get a term life insurance plan? Most likely to cover a mortgage. Again, a mortgage is hopefully are temporary, right? You're going to pay on it for 30 years, hopefully less if you can catch up the payments, pay it down faster, pay less interest. And, uh, but it won't be there forever. So term insurance isn't necessary for a permanent, it's not a, it's not a mortgage isn't a permanent problem, it's a temporary problem. So term life insurance to cover that length of time is, is a really good idea. Also, um, maybe an income replacement plan. If you're younger and you wanna ensure something's there, if you die prior to retiring, to replace your income, to put your family on firm financial footing, then a term plan is good. Uh, you may have needs beyond retirement, but if you save and do and follow through with your retirement plan consistently, then there really isn't much of a need for term insurance if you do so. Also, term insurance does have potentially tougher underwriting than simplified issue whole life. Uh, that just is going to depend on the severity of the endometriosis. And, and here's the thing. Endometriosis generally is not a huge problem to qualify for. If you have postmenopausal, non-disabling, endometriosis, you may qualify for regular rates without much sort of underwriting issues. Severe recurring rates may qualify for higher rates. So it's, again, it just endometriosis is, it can't say for sure, it just depends on your unique situation. But looking at just endometriosis alone, there are other conditions we have a lot harder time to get qualified for. Now there's whole life insurance uh, for people with endometriosis as well. Whole life insurance offers permanent protection. The benefits include your rates never go up. Uh, the only exception to that is universal life plans. Unless you get a guaranteed universal life plan, that guarantees the premium stays the same throughout your entirety of your life as long as you pay the same premium. You get first day full coverage potential as long as your health qualifies overall, and you can't be canceled due to age or health either. Now, drawbacks include higher premium per dollar of coverage than term insurance, and, and sometimes the, uh, the, the non-med fully underwritten products, whether you get whole life or guaranteed universal life, have similar underwriting standards compared to term. So all those conditions I mentioned with endometriosis will still apply here uh, as far as eligibility for coverage. And, and, and if there are problems, if there's, let's say you have severe, very severe endometriosis or perhaps you have other problems associated with it, we may look at a simplified issue whole life plan because they're much more flexible in getting underwriting approved and uh, less people are declined. So uh, last but not least option here is guaranteed issue whole life insurance. Again, this is the rare severe cases. Usually people qualify for this when there's no other options available or if the person with endometriosis has other issues that are more severe than just the endometriosis alone. Maybe there's other complications, other problems. Guaranteed issue whole life issue works uh, very simple. It's guaranteed issue so there's no health questions. The premiums never go up, neither does the coverage cancel due to age or health. So this is very good with uh, a final expense plan. Again, if nothing else is, is, is eligible. The downside is there's no natural death coverage for two years, although there is accidental death for the first day, uh, from the first day. And coverage limitation is pretty low at 25,000. And uh, you can buy multiple policies to stack it higher. But I, I wanna stress here, if endometriosis alone is your only problem, it's very rare that you're ever going to really end up potentially qualifying. So let's talk about how to qualify for a life insurance program if you have endometriosis. So it's very simple to qualify. You pick an agent like me, nominate myself. Uh, you can work with me completely over the internet or the phone. I can drop a quote with you for you within five to 10 minutes and then apply. It's very simple uh, to do so. Usually take several days to weeks to, to, to apply for coverage and potentially get you approved. And assuming you are approved, you'll get your policy in the mail, and that's it. It's very simple. So final steps. How do you do this? Well, go to buylifeinsuranceforburial.com. You can click the contact button at the top or the box below. Send me a message or call me, 888-626-0439, to speak with me live. 
I'll be happy to run a quote within five or 10 minutes to give you an idea of what your options are to qualify. So leave a comment below if you like this video or leave a, a thumbs up and subscribe too. Thank you so much for listening. Dave Dufour here at buylifeinsuranceforburial.com.